Alright. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, today I wanted, wanted to put up another video. Um, and I wanted to start being a little bit more consistent with putting up videos because I feel like I, I just, um, I guess I was just excited about just, um, the idea of putting up videos, but I need to actually like put in the work in and be a little bit more consistent with my output. So I'll try to be more together with that. Um, but today with going with the last book that I was talking about, I want to do, um, some studies from taco point character drawing right here. And, um, so I got my pencil, my lead holder pencil, and then I got my micron pen right here. Um, and I just want to go in and do some studies and just, you know, talk a little bit about what I'm drawing. Um, cause I, I, you know, I really like taco style. So I think I, he would, you know, taco would be good. They, I don't know if it's a man or a woman or, you know, but, um, and I sort of wanted to like, sort of go into how I would study something like this, except for just copying it line for line, thinking about it, like how, thinking about it in a way, like how I would think of, of it, like constructing, um, constructing some of the drawings in here, not necessarily just copying, right? So these are the first illustrations in the book. <clears throat> um, and I kind of like how it goes in about the neck because a lot of anatomy books don't really talk about the neck too much. I think like Hogarth does a little bit in, in Bridgman, but um, you know, they kind of like show, show the neck, but you know, these are supposed to be, you see how it's a, a whole core in a head but it's talking about how the neck twists. When the body and the face are in different directions, twist the center of the neck to make it natural, right? <laughs> so it's saying whenever the body and the head are in different positions, you have to twist the neck to make it natural. So the only reason I have this pencil is just sort of like sketch and then I'm gonna do it with the pen. So first is that first head, right? So this is how I would do it. I would give me a circle. I would sort of do like a line for the face. I'm doing a line for the neck, which is still going straight. And then right here, this is where I would get that arrow shape for the torso going down here. So this is how I'm going to be shaping the ribs rib cage right here. This is what I'm drawing right here. Shaping the ribs. Then I'm sort of gonna, the pecs are like way, way up here. This will be the clavicle right there. <coughs> but I thought I talked about, I mentioned it in the other video also is that um, maybe before you go into a book like this, just get a book like, you know, say like the Michael Hampton book or something, just so you can sort of understand some of the things that are being drawn here, because this is, you know, the thoracic case, the clavicle, these are the pectoral muscles, the serratus muscles going up here, abdominals, obliques. It's not like I'm, right now I'm doing a abdominals. It's not like I'm a master, definitely not a master at all at anatomy of you know any stretch i'm st still very much a student but it's just um <laughs> just be aware of those basic things just so you know it can eliminate a lot of confusion going into you know when you're trying to draw details All right and i just want to make the head about this size I feel like I'm, the head is either the I'm gonna put the either the, the head is too low or I think the head is a little too low, so I'm gonna erase. I don't want the head to be so close to the 
to the torso and put it up here. Give it some space for the neck. Then we'll come down straight to the middle of the clavicle for that neck shape right there. Right. So I feel like I pretty much have it laid out. <clears throat> That looks pretty long, but I pretty much have it laid out for the pen, right? So this is what I would do with the pen. Since I sketched it out with the pencil, I'm coming out like this. Just sort of, not necessarily tracing, but just sort of picking those lines and using it as a guideline. So maybe I want to adjust some things, make the head kind of, the chin kind of small there. And that's all right. And do sort of a, right here. Going here. And the head kind of cuts in right there. bit of separation right there and, and this is what you have to understand too is that um since everything is described by lines the placement of the lines are very important to describe you know everything which I think is very great but you know just try not to get too caught up in it, like I said before, in the other video, you're not necessarily going to draw each illustration perfectly, right? So I wish I just had a highlighter to highlight the, um, the neck. This is like a, like a marker. Right. Use this one. Sort of, you know, sort of how Taco was drawing. It. So it's so in this in right in the beginning, right? There's a cylindrical shape like this that he's trying to give you for the neck, right? And then he's just saying to basically. The neck is basically a cylinder with a form coming forward like this. And maybe I would cut it off. Maybe that's the wrong move to make, but sort of like that, right? This is sort of what he's talking about. I keep saying he, but you know, maybe it's a she or whoever. And so it's sort of like a a cylinder <clears throat> with um, a shape, you know, on the, sort of like a form on the inside. It doesn't look like it comes too far off of the cylinder, right? Sort of like a form like this, right? This is me not necessarily copying the illustration, but sort of, um, and they're trying to show that it's supposed to be a form, like so. Right? It's supposed to be a form that's turning. So now let's do another, another one like this. Bit of a bigger head. We'll have to accommodate that with a bigger torso. Sort of going. See, so this is what I would I would be doing when studying a book like this. It's just all this stuff down here is not really of importance right now. The the main thing is the the topic of discussion right now is the neck 
and how it connects to the torso, the head to the torso, All right? I'm still just gonna draw these parts down here, sort of get that, um, get that shape going. More so use it like a guideline, right? Then, <clears throat> then I'm going back in. Hope you can see it. Then I'm going back in with the micron pen, like so. Plain chin. Under. This is draw the part, like the main part of the reason why this illustration even drawn this in the first place. I feel like I make the head kind of small. That's all right. These pecs right here. Like sort of like wings. All right. Going down here. And don't uh, feel like that you have to draw these things so fast, just, you know, Take your time. Especially when you're um, drawing with pen, you know, it's all about patience. You know, you should never, you shouldn't rush any, any facet of art. You should never, you know, unless that's part of your art making is the speed, but usually with art and drawing, it's always better to go slower when you're drawing. Nine times out of 10. And then I see like a, you know, even though it's not that dark, it's like it's sort of like a line for the, for the, um, the pecs. Maybe like shadow, a little bit of like shadow mapping. Then sort of highlight under the neck. So sort of what, the, what the illustration is trying to display. Is that if you, when you turn the neck, depending the, the depending on the the position of the torso and the head, the neck should twist. So if the if your torso is looking straight and your head is looking to the right side, your neck should this should be like an anchor point that should be twisting, also from the middle of the clavicle, twisting under to that jawbone, you know, to the what is it um, mandible but twisting and attaching to under that jawbone. <clears throat> when it, wherever, whichever direction the head twists, you know? It should be, the attachment point you should be thinking of is the middle of the clavicle. And then wherever the head turns to, it's that's where it's going to twist. <clears throat> and it can only really twist left and right. <laughs> so it can't really twist in so many positions. So it's not like you really have to be thinking of so many maybe when you're you and you start to think of different angles but still even at that point it's it's like you should know you know that okay i'm looking for the neck to twist from the middle of the clavicle to under to attaching underneath the jaw you know what what you know no matter what um situation <clears throat> so now i'm going to draw the other illustration and I think that, you know, especially we're going through a book like this, you know, um, just draw, try to draw as many illustrations in it as possible, you know. Also, whenever you don't really feel like drawing, you should just, whatever book that you have that you're trying to study, even if you don't really necessarily feel like drawing, you should always just, you know, look through it, you know, peruse through it, read it. You can still pick up things like that, even when you get away from a book and you're not necessarily um, studying, you can be looking through it and still be absorbing information that way. You know, so just don't, don't be afraid to do that. Which is sort of like a shape like this for the rib cage. And uh, in this book later on, it does get into more of like the separate parts, which I actually like. So you don't have to be necessarily guessing on the anatomy and things all the time. You can sort of 
um, I sort of explain some things. But yeah, I think I pretty much have it sketched out. I'm a pretty uh, loose sketcher. I think I want to get more detail with my sketching, but I feel like I um, I just sort of sketch the place things, and then I um, go straight in with the pen. After I get that placement, kind of resize things when I'm going in with the pen a lot of times. Which if I, you know, it's just, it just depends on, on you. I don't think that you should be feeling uh, pressured to do things a certain kind of way. Maybe you want to do a little bit more of a detailed sketch. you know, to place things more exactly. So when you, when you just come in with the pen, it's just sort of like a touch, um, you know, just sort of defining, locking those lines. And but I fight when I, whenever I sketch, I just sketch to sort of place things. And then after I get the placement, then I just, well, okay, I can go in and make my adjustments with the, with the pen. The pen is sort of like, I'm still, sort of editing what I'm drawing with the with the pen right it's not like I get it right all the time but <clears throat> that's kind of what I'm comfortable doing but um yeah so I'm just going in really drawing the entire torso it I thought it's just more of a um a vis visual representation of like, you know, the neck twisting, except for just having a floating neck twisting, you know, showing the torso and the head is very great. I feel like I made the, like the abdominals and stuff longer than an illustration, but that's fine. Long, it's wider, not, not longer. That's fine pretty much get the get the message sharper neck there there we go and then so it's just showing how the neck uh twist see how it's going to the left and to the right just showing how the torso is still stationary but the um <laughs> just do this the um, shadow marking, but um, the torso is still stationary. But on whatever position the head turns to, the neck off the neck twist. <clears throat> and I'm gonna do some of the other views also. <clears throat> and th and this is only the first page, so like, you see, I'm uh, this video is already about to be 20 minutes. <clears throat> and how much information you can get from just the first page. Yeah. So this is usually how I would go into something like this, just getting, you know, there's sort of like a rhythm going here. Um, the rib cage is always gonna be matched up with that center line, pectorals also. Match up with that center line, right? So, like this. Just getting in something really rough, really quick. Just so I can get that ink in. This is where the obliques are gonna come in, into the pelvis, right there. And then, right there. See, I sort of, I love these, um, sort of views where um, it's like more of a dynamic um, pose. I really like those these dynamic poses, but I feel like, you know, you should also be studying the static, these um, sort of static images also, just so you can, um, studying uh, more of like these, these uh, positions are more like diagrams. Just so when you go to a dynamic pose, you know, it just doesn't look completely out of whack. <clears throat> I feel like as much as you wanna 
study dynamic poses and things like that. Understanding things like a diagram will just help you break down these kind of things a lot easier in your mind. Help you um, imagine it a little, <clears throat> can help you imagine it yourself a little easier also. Just because, you know, you just wanna, you wanna absorb as much knowledge as possible whenever, when you're doing these kind of things. Like you don't, you don't want anything to be left out. You know, you don't wanna only study half of something. You wanna fully just get into it. I'm gonna loosen my grip up. Also, whenever you're drawing, drawing things, especially when you're sort of getting, trying to get really into it and just trying to make every line perfect, you um, will sort of choke up the pen. Just try to, you know, sit your hand back a little farther on a pen. Like you want to sort of be a little bit more relaxed so that you can make longer and broader strokes. If you're stiff and you're choked up on a pen, you're not gonna necessarily, you're not really gonna be able to make those, those, um, those more natural looking lines. You're gonna be making choppy, you know, it's gonna look like you were choked up while you're doing it. So just, you know, loosen up, you know? Sometimes just remind yourself to just loosen up whenever you're drawing. Um, because the more you sort of choke yourself up on the on the pen, the more it's going to come out in your work as you're like choked up, you know, and you know, especially when you're studying, you don't, you know, you're not always. It's not always going to be a perfect sketch. You shouldn't be aiming for a perfect sketch every single time. You should be aiming for knowledge, and you should be aiming for that mileage of drawing things over and over and over again. So I think I'm gonna end it here because the video is already 20, 22 minutes, but I'm gonna do more studies of this book, but this is great right here, just to sort of start off with. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make another, I'm gonna make some more study videos on this book because I really like this book and I wanted to start studying it. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.